Once upon a time, in a serene tropical village nestled in West Africa, resided a couple named Ijuwa and Obi. They were <laughs> young and deeply in love, yet their hearts were burdened by the absence of children. Ijuwa got pregnant a few times, but for the few times she conceived, they all ended tragically in miscarriage after a few weeks, leaving a void in their lives that seemed impossible to fill. Their once vibrant union was now beginning to show cracks under the weight of unfulfilled dreams. Pressure mounted from Obi's family to take another wife who could bear him children. But he deeply loved Ijuwa and held a very strong belief that Ijuwa would one day bear him a child. However, Ijuwa's fate wavered. Years of heartache weighed heavily on Ijuwa's spirit, eroding her sense of self with each loss. Turning to food for solace, she ate to fill the void in her heart. But soon, it spiraled out of control and she became overweight. As her waistline expanded, so did the strain on her marriage. Obi, a devoted husband, watched helplessly as his wife sank deeper into despair, her spirit overshadowed by sorrow. Ijuwa's newfound weight brought laziness and neglect. She lost the will to do any basic chore around the house, leaving their home littered with filth. Obi was struggling in these situations, torn between his deep love and loyalty for his wife and the frustration of her self-destructive habits. He sought his mother's advice, who suggested getting him a house help. One afternoon, Obi returned with a young girl named Ojinika, whose presence immediately unsettled Ijuwa. She saw Ojinika as a threat to her marriage. The thought of sharing Obi, her husband, with another woman ignited a fierce jealousy within her. Yet, Ojinika's presence only fueled Ijuwa's insecurities. Her resentment manifested in harsh treatments and unwarranted suspicions towards Ojinika. She would smack her across the face for the slightest provocation. She would call her up at night while everyone was asleep to clean a floor that had been previously cleaned during the day. Ijuwa made her taste every meal she prepared, fearing that she was lacing their meals with charm. This created an air of suspicion in the home. On some occasions, Obi attempted to intervene. Tensions rose and he blamed his wife's laziness for their troubles. Yet, Ojinika's diligence and unwavering dedication to work caught Obi's attention, and he found himself drawn to her care and tenderness. As their bond deepened, Ijuwa's jealousy reached a boiling point, and she became desperate and began hatching a plan to seek a solution from a witch doctor. I must get rid of this girl. Who does she think she is to come into my home and snatch my husband? Ijuwa thought to herself. Her fears were beginning to unravel before her eyes. The next morning, while everyone was still asleep, Ijuwa snuck out of the house to a witch doctor's place. Although she could barely find the strength to move her fat legs, she struggled and dragged along her massive frame. On her way to the witch doctor's house, she saw a strange looking old woman standing by the road in an open gaze. Looking at her as she stepped close to her greatest surprise, this mysterious old woman spoke cryptic words of wisdom. Ijuwa, he that beats the drum for the madman to dance is no better than the madman himself. With a straight face, the strange woman's voice echoed. It was an adage that stunned Ijuwa to her marrow. She froze on her step, unsure who the old woman was. How did you know my name and who are you? Her voice was shaking. The old woman's face lit with a subtle smile. 
her eyes gleaming with an otherworldly wisdom. She told Ijuwa that she knew where she was headed at that time of the morning. She also added that going there would not solve her problems. The old woman told Ijuwa to follow her to her hut. Intrigued, Ijuwa followed the woman to her hut. There was a very large clay pot in the middle of the hut. She told Ijuwa that the solution to her conception lies in a magical soup that will be prepared in the pot. The soup required a specific recipe of herbs and rare spices, which is gotten from different markets and locations. Our ancestors prepared this soup when they wanted to conceive, and it always worked. She added, Ijuwa had already lost hope of bearing any children. So, hearing the old woman's words, she did not believe them. But despite her doubts, Ijuwa agreed to prepare the soup. The old woman told her to get the ingredients one by one each day for her to prepare the soup. Reluctantly, Ijuwa embarked on a journey to gather the ingredients. Her initial anger and desperation dissipated. The next morning, she began the journey. It took her traversing rugged terrains of the village and also the countryside. As the day turned into weeks, Ijuwa felt the weight of her flesh and burdens becoming lighter. As she gathered ingredients, Ijuwa shared not only physical weight but also emotional burdens, finding renewed strength with each step. By the time Ijuwa got all the ingredients for the soup, she had changed completely. The soup tasted very sour and sweet at the same time. Meanwhile, back at their home, Ojinika's seductive charms began to lose their hold over Obi. She had tried severally to lure him to sleep with her so she could bear him a child, but Obi was beginning to notice his wife's transformation and wouldn't give in. He woke up one morning, shocked at Ijuwa's new look, and zoomed right. a newfound clarity. He was overcome with a deep sense of guilt and shame for not noticing Ijuwa's new look and sense of purpose. He realized the beauty he once beheld. Realizing her mistake, Ijuwa apologized to Ojinika for maltreating her due to jealousy. Obi sent her back to his mother. In a mood of reconciliation, he explained to his wife that bringing Ojinika over was initially a good idea, but along the way he lost sight of what was precious to him. In a climatic moment of revelation, Ijuwa discovered that she was already carrying within her the most precious gift of all, a new life, conceived amidst the trials and tribulations of her journey. Overwhelmed with joy, they embraced to their hearts, entwined in a bond stronger than ever before. In due time, she <laughs> bore a son. With great joy, Ijuwa decided to go to the old woman's hut to express her gratitude, but to her greatest surprise, it was empty. Both the clay pot and the old woman were nowhere to be seen. It was like nobody was ever there, but the hut stood empty a silent reminder of her journey this story teaches us that we should not be lazy and we should always strive to be healthy because your physical health is closely tied to your emotional health it also shows us the transformative power that lies within each of us it reminds us that true happiness comes from within and that love conquers all even in the darkest of times if you enjoyed the story Watch the next one. Like and subscribe to our channel. Bye.